What's up, family? It is Caden and Christina. And today we're going to talk about should married couples or couples combine finances? But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the bell so you're notified when we drop new stuff. Okay, so how are we going to go about doing this? We're going to give you three reasons why people should combine finances three reasons why you may not want to combine finances and how we do it for our particular relationship. And so the first reason for why people should combine finances, it may be a Christian one a little, is that the Bible talks about when two are joined together or become married, we become one flesh. And so what is mine become hers and what is hers becomes mine and that includes our money. And so that's one of the reasons that we believe that you should combine your finances. We had a conversation recently with two of our friends from church and it really struck me when she mentioned that their counselor had told them people are eager to uh, be one in body, be one spiritually, be one mentally and emotionally, but yet we're hesitant to be one financially. And so we really feel like it, being one financially is one of the ways that you can become closer to your partner as well. And so the second reason that we think that you should combine finances is that it allows you to have difficult conversations. <sighs> Fun. <laughs> so when you have to talk about, ooh, should we buy that? Shouldn't we buy that? You have to kind of work through these things as a couple and so that is one of the blessings of being able to combine finances because it teaches you how to have difficult conversations and then that ability to have difficult conversations transitions to other parts of your marriage and so it really does teach you how to be a good communicator and i'll definitely say for our marriage that we've talked about how every year or each month we sit down and create a budget and so when we do that, we're able to communicate to see where our goals are and to so that we'll be able to be aligned. And so I really do feel like um, being one financially or combining your finances does help you to communicate of what your needs and wants are to your partner. Yeah, I really like being able to talk about our goals together because one, it lets us know is there are goals changed since we got married. Um, and if so, what do you need now? And a lot of times, if you're not kind of combining your finances or working on your budget together, you aren't having those type of conversations. And so that's one reason why we think you should combine finances or why it's recommended. And the third reason why we think you should combine finances is that most financial experts, financial gurus, however you want to classify them, say that the couples that are the married couples that combine finances tend to be a lot more successful with money. One book that I really love, The Millionaire Next Door, they speak about when the millionaires that they have studied, those millionaires tend to be married people who combine their finances. Dave Ramsey's team also did a study that shows most millionaires are couples that combine finances. And so there's something about working on your finances together as a unit that allows you to build an empire together. Absolutely. And while we understand that combining finances is overall a great thing, we do know that there are some reasons why couples may not want to combine finances. And so that's an excellent transition for the three reasons why you may not want to combine finances. And so one of those reasons is you may have married someone that is really bad with money. So if you marry someone that either gambles or spends a lot, then you may be hesitant to want to combine your finances because not only they're going to mess up your finances or your credit, but or theirs, but it's going to mess up yours as well. But sometimes these issues are may expose themselves financially, but, but they may be rooted in bigger issues that people may need to seek counseling for. So we understand that there are some reasons why couples may not want to combine their finances. But in cases where the issue is deeper, definitely be proactive about seeking help. 
The second reason, and it kind of even hurts me to even say this reason, ooh, is that 50% of marriages ends in divorce. Yeah. And so if you're not unsure about that partner, which you probably shouldn't got married anyway, but <laughs> but it happens. We yeah. get married to people and then it's like, oh, you're not the person that I thought you were. And so 50% of marriages end in divorce. And so when your finances are combined, that gets a whole lot messier when you're going through the divorce process. It's something that we honestly don't like thinking about, but yeah. And then obviously if you're someone that is thinking about divorcing your partner, you may have a secret bank account. Mm. And if you combine your finances, they're gonna know that, hmm, not all of your money are going into your accounts. And so they will know that you have a secret bank account. And so a level of insecurity in your marriage is one reason why people tend not to combine finances. Yeah, and like having secret stashes can be viewed as, as financial infidelity. There's, it's an indication that there may not be as much trust as you would like in your marriage or relationship as well. And the third reason that you may not want to combine finances is that you will have Potentially, potentially, potentially less arguments over the day-to-day -day spending. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that happens when you combine finances is that you usually have to have a limit on how you spend your money and you may even have to talk to the person, other person, before you spend the money because it's not just your money anymore, it's both of your monies. And so some people, a lot of people, don't like having those conversations of, can I buy this? Can I buy that? And that's another reason why couples may not combine their finances is because they don't want to have those conversations. They don't want to have to be regulated by their partner or feel controlled in that way in terms of having to come for approval. Cause that's what it feels like sometimes. Exactly. Or it could feel like, oh, can I buy this $25 thing? Or can I send my mom $50? And so even having to have those type of conversations are difficult. So some couples may choose not to combine their finances for that particular reason. So those are the three reasons why people may not want to combine finances. And we know that there are probably a lot more reasons out there. We would love for you to tell us why in the comment sections, why people may want to combine finances or why it may be good for couples not to combine finances. Here's what we actually do. So we have combined accounts and separate accounts. And our separate accounts include um, a dollar amount for each of us to pay our tithes and fun money where we don't have to consult each other about what we're spending. And then also, of course, our retirement accounts are separate accounts and all other money we put into our joint account. Like when we were saving for our house, that was a, a, a joint account, even the account that we use to pay bills on a day-to-day -day basis. About 85% of our money is together in combined accounts, I would say, not counting our retirement funds, which generally how those are set up. So our separate accounts is not even about the other person not knowing what we're spending. It's just also being able to spend money freely and not have to consult each other for a $20, $30, $100 expense. Or if I want to surprise my, son, my husband with a little gift, it's easy to do so from a separate account. Yes, same <laughs> here. Even though she reads all of my emails, so and my bank sends those emails to those accounts, so she knows when I'm surprising her as well, unfortunately. So that's another reason why you may want a separate account that your partner has access to but don't really have access to. But yeah, so for the most part, we combine all of our finances. We're very transparent about our finances. I don't think she has a secret account. I definitely I don't, don't have a secret, secret account. account. <laughs> <laughs> those are the reasons why. Those are the reasons why people may not. And that's what we do. Um, it may work for you as well. It may not work for you. Like I said, let us know in the comment section. Like we always say, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're notified of new things, and love you. And live your best life.